Oh my God. Hello, Earth Signs. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind my readings are general, may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus signs for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You guys may see a little smoke. I am burning my dragon's blood, okay? Need to cleanse this place sometimes. You guys, um, I had did a request on Instagram and all my earth signs was like Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So this video is going to be a mini read for each sign, okay? You guys clearly need some advice. I'm going to give it to y'all, all right? So... We are going to start with Taurus since they're first. Virgo is next and then um, Capricorn is last. All right. So Spirit, tell me, what is the energy for Taurus? What is it that you need Taurus to know? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Ten of Wands, King of Cups. Is there a Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius, a Virgo, or a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio? Yeah, that got you fucked up. This is somebody from your past here. I feel like you drew the line on this motherfucker. Could definitely be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like, yes, you do love this person. And yes, they do make you very fucking happy. But on the flip side with the Wheel of Fortune here, I feel like you moved on. And whatever you're doing now works for you. Maybe this person wants you back. Could definitely be a Scorpio. They could be trying to woo you. But I feel like you're like, I'm kind of, mm, I'm not, I might turn this down, okay? With the Prince of Pentacles, I feel like you're starting something over. You may be in another relationship completely. All right. I feel like the person that's coming towards you may be a little stressed out. Maybe they thought they was going to be able to do you like that and come back. I feel like this person did something to you, okay? But with this two of wands here, you're exploring your options. I feel like you're trying to figure out what you want to do with this person or not. But with the ten of wands and the king of cups, I feel like it's hard for you to either express how you feel to this person or to still have feelings for this person after this break that y'all took with this hermit card here, okay? Let's just see. What are these feelings that you're hiding? What are these feelings that you're hiding? The Temperance card. Oh, shit. The Temperance card, Six of Swords. I feel like it was very hard for you to get over this person. Whoever this person is, they hurt you. And I feel like they, you were forced to move on from them. Okay? But you moved on. And I feel like for a while, you didn't offer people stability. You're probably still not pe offering people nothing long term. But I see you talking, maybe just having sex or, you know, having light conversations or light, you know, relationships or connections with people. But you're still healing. Seven of Pentacles, you're taking your fucking time now. And now this person thinks that they could just slide back in after they cause you some type of major pain here. Okay. What does this person want? What does this person want? Why are they coming back? <laughs> First of all, they're coming back with fucking bullshit. Okay, and I think they, they may have, okay, so I have two stories here. If you're dealing with a female, I feel like this person may have lied, cheated, or betrayed you and started fucking with somebody else. This could have been an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but they finding out that this motherfucker was a player. And I feel like with this justice card in reverse, this person did them dirty, okay? Now they want a relationship with you. Okay, for my females, this may be a lying ass player that's coming back to you to do the same shit that they did to you in the past. Don't do it. All right? Let's see what new I have coming in for my Taurus gang. What's new coming in for my Taurus gang? New coming in for Taurus. The death card. Okay, so after this ending that you have with somebody that you were having a problem walking away from, but you guys just couldn't get it together. I think you don't necessarily need to jump back into anything because there's a sense of you lost yourself in this, okay? So you need to get yourself back right. I feel like you have dropped this person, which is beautiful, but now you're you're constantly overthinking something. You may be a bit codependent, especially if you've been with this person for a long time. It may be very hard for you to get back to, get right back to love and yeah. Knight of King of Swords in reverse. Some of y'all just want to play the field right now. Six of Pentacles. Have more than one person. Have options, okay? Because you're still trying to get past this. Yeah, you're still codependent. Some of y'all still fucked up by this. I don't know why somebody is calling me on that phone. I really don't. I don't understand it at all. Like, who fucked in? I got that number. 
All right, so let's see what advice I have. Yeah, that's crazy because I just touched that phone. It ain't one of these. All right, so let's see. Spirit, please tell me. What is the advice for um, Tauruses? What is the advice for Tauruses? Three of Wands. I feel like, first of all, y'all got to change how y'all... Y'all attitudes are shitty, okay? Maybe it's how y'all talk to people. It's probably how y'all talk to people and your way of viewing people, their perspective. Maybe one bad apple spoiled it for the bunch, okay? But y'all need to watch how the fuck y'all speak to people and what y'all saying. Because some of y'all saying shit and it's offending people. I feel like you're looking for people, but then you're, you're not really doing shit about it when you get these people. It's straight to reverse. It's because you still need to heal. Some of y'all are still weak. This past person fucked y'all up big time, okay? All right, thank you, Taurus. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's good with Virgos? Spirit, what is the energy for Virgos? What is the energy for Virgos? What is the, okay. The Princess of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles, big changes. Cutting motherfuckers off that cut you. Three of swords at the bottom of the deck. All right. So I feel like in the past, you could have been dealing with somebody that you were madly in love with. You love this person. You could have had kids with this person, but you found out the truth about this person with this Ace of Swords here, okay? And I feel like even though you were trying to work things out with this person, you made the fucking cut. You cut this person the fuck off. And I feel like even though there was a lot of love here, and I see, I think you had a lot of potential growth here with this person. You realize that this shit was nothing but a big ass burden for you. Now, once you came to this realization, I think you made the move. You realized that you were bigger than the situation, okay? You see how she's looking at this little island here? Like, bitch, I stomped this whole shit out. You, you realize once you got in that thinking thing and, you know, the sun is illuminating some truths to you, you're starting to realize that the situation that you were in wasn't that serious, okay? That you you could do bigger and better things somewhere else, all right? This situation that you're in was for the small-minded you. But I feel like now you're seeing the bigger picture here, okay? All right, spirits will tell me. What is it that you realize, though? That this person wasn't for you? That somebody was all for self? They was never going to be able to be what you needed them to be? Could have been a Leo. This person wasn't a leader. They were a follower. A smoocher. A moocher. Some of y'all were being used by this person. Took an advantage of. Now, the ones you putting your guard up to this person now, though. Yeah, because you realize that fucking with this person made you imbalanced. All right? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Yeah. I feel like you're starting to see the bigger person. Pit, blah, 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 blah. That. you're starting to see the bigger picture of the situation you may have been feeling like maybe you were doing something wrong in the situation or you didn't fit here bitch you didn't fit with this person you didn't fit with this person and i feel like now you're starting to realize that this person wasn't a good fit for you and you left this person alone and you're finally going to stop overthinking it you're seeing the bigger picture here yeah with the will of fortune now you can move forward this is this reading is giving me the chills y'all yeah, with the devil in reverse, you re you release something toxic as hell. Could have been a Capricorn or a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Somebody who was not open with their feelings anyway and wasn't protecting yours. Ten of Pentacles in reverse with this person. This person wasn't giving you what you needed here. With this Ten of Pentacles in the upright, you're going to go get that shit by yourself. Okay, with somebody else if necessary, but you're going to get it. That's the whole point. Seven of Swords, yeah, you're planning on how to get this. Okay, definitely. And with this King of Swords in reverse, I feel like your thoughts are all over the place right now because you just got out of something, but you're still trying to strategize on how to be the empress here, okay? Yeah, you're getting control. You're getting control, all right? People may be viewing you as having a bad attitude, but fuck them. That ain't none of their business. I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, you're not waiting for nobody to do anything for you no more. You're making your own decisions with this Two of Swords here. All right, okay? Virgo said, fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's see what advice do i have for my virgo gang what advice do i have for virgos what advice do i have for virgos spirit please give me some advice for Vir virgo 
Virgo, you have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Whoever this person is that you needed to drop, needed to be dropped because they weren't standing in their power. And I feel like if you're going to be trying to stand in your power, you need to fucking leave somebody from the past. Yeah, you got to gain control of this situation. The Emperor here. It's time for you to finally take charge and cut something off. With the Ace of Pentacles, some of you need to focus more on your money as well. Your finances are a little upside down. I feel like that's, yeah... You may have lost a bit, may have had to move or, you know, pay a little bit more. Yeah, I feel like some of y'all had to move. Some of y'all had to leave this, this Aries Leo with Sagittarius energy the fuck along. Yeah, this person was very unfair to you. This person was a little narcissistic. But I feel like you lost a little bit of money with this person, but it's fine. I feel like you didn't have no choice. This person may have made you move. Or made it un very uncomfortable to be around this person. Or this person took money from you and didn't give it back. Whatever this person did, they didn't help you. They took from you, okay? It was very one-sided. Spirit is saying, stay the fuck away from this individual. Okay, Capricorn. Capricorn. Cappies. What's good, guys? Oh, these cards must have jumped out my hand just now. All right, Cappy. So let's see what I have for you guys. Spirit, what do we have for Cappies? Energy for Cappies. Energy for... Oh, oh okay. Love is in reverse. Could be done with the Gemini. Six of Swords. Okay. Realizing that you have to let go of a connection here. This person's not... Yeah, Ten of Swords is over. You're realizing that somebody that you may have looked at as home or somebody who you felt like was stable in your life is no longer stable in your life. Could have definitely been a Gemini here. I have all swords, um, except for the four of wands. Yeah, look, queen of swords. Definitely could have been a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that you were dealing with. You're realizing somebody doesn't want to be with you anymore. Or you don't want to be with this person. There's a big disconnect here. And somebody's moving on. And it's over. You may have thought, like, okay, maybe we can do this again. But I, I don't see that happening. Okay? Well, let's just see what happened here. Oh my god, here go my cards acting fucking dim. Make it fucking stupid. Alright, so why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here in reverse for Capricorn? Why is the lovers here in reverse for Capricorn spirit? Why is the lovers here in reverse for Capricorn? The King of Wands. Okay, so th this person may have bossed up a little bit, all right? I feel like maybe in the past, they may not have their shit together. This person may have not, you know, been the best of person. Not saying that they were using you, but this person just wasn't full grown. And I feel like when they got their shit together, they left. Could be a cancer. The Five of Cups, I feel like this person disappointed you a lot. Ace of Cups in reverse. The love is unrequited at this point, whether it's on your end or their end. Somebody just does not feel the same. Six of Swords is here. Uh, Emperor, I see you taking control, finally understanding that this is a situation that's unsalvageable and, you know, moving on with your fucking life, okay? Maybe you were still indecisive with this two of wands on whether or not you wanted to deal with this. But, I, you know, shit happens. Yeah, King of, King of Pentacles. You're putting yourself first now. Okay, after this tower moment, I feel like you were shocked. You didn't... I heard, how you just gonna pick up and leave a nigga sick like that? You don't throw away what we had just like that. I was just fucking with them girls. I was gonna get right back. They say you can't turn a bad girl good, but if it's a good girl's going bad, she's gone forever. Somebody is song crying over you because the Ten of Swords. I got to live with the fact I did you wrong forever, okay? Can't see it coming down your eyes, so I had to make the song cry. Page of Pentacles. This person, I feel like either you or this person is trying to reach out to revive the dead. Like, okay? This person would like a word with you from the basement, Clarice. Yeah, Ten of Cups, because somebody still sees a future. Somebody still sees a future here with somebody. Wow. 
But with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, somebody's getting restless and tired of waiting. And the other person doesn't really want this. They, I feel like it's not necessarily that the other person doesn't want it. I feel like the other person's hesitant with letting you in. And Nine of Swords, I feel like somebody here stressed somebody the fuck out. Okay, take it how it resonates. Whoever it is that stressed that person out wants to come back. And I feel like the other person's like, I don't really feel the same about you anymore. It's not a complete loss, but I feel like it may take a lot. Or somebody just does not want to do it at all with this Ten of Swords here. You may be feeling like this person doesn't want to do it at all because of how they're acting, okay? All right, so that concludes the video. Let's get one card from the Rebel deck for all my Earth signs. Don't talk to anyone and don't look at anyone. You need fucking time alone and you know why. And detox, okay? Thank you, guys.